this is Jessica Tomasa in the Guidewell Insights Lounge. I'm here at Singularity University's Exponential Medicine, and we're joined in the lounge by a very special guest. We have Patty Rogers with us. She is the founder and CEO of Rallyhood, and she's also a cancer survivor. So Patty, thank you so much for joining us. Absolutely, thanks for having me. So I wanted to just start off, we've been talking a lot about mental health at this conference, and right. I wanted to get your perspective as somebody who's gone through cancer. You know, are there any tools or technologies that can affect a patient's mental, uh, their outlook, the way right. they're feeling about their cancer experience? What's, what's worked in your opinion? Well, personally, I think from my own experience, I think the real um, significant impact is really just people. It's human beings. It's being connected to family, friends, and that, um, and having a sense of um, community and connectedness is, it makes such a difference. And you just can't underestimate that. So. Um, the tools that help um, empower that and become a catalyst for that, I think, are really critical um, to a patient's outlook. In your opinion, what needs to change in the cancer experience? And you can talk from the, the patient perspective, that'd be wonderful, but what kinds of things need to be disrupted? Mm. Well, I think, you know, there's so much that can happen in terms of um, early prevention, and we've, um, the, there's been a lot of talk about that at, the, at this conference, which is super inspiring, the idea of being able to catch cancer before it's cancer. Right, which is incredible. Right, right. and so being able to, um, you know, sort of save people from um, the tragedy of that in their life and the, and the pain and suffering that, that can happen. So that's first and foremost, the idea of um, early detection. You know, I, I hear people say all the time, we, we may never be done with cancer, but if we can, we can find it early and prevent it, then, then that's the big win, right? right. Um, and then in terms of like, you know, how to improve the, the journey of cancer, I think it's, it's you know, continues along this, um, this theme of compassion and empathy and finding ways to make sure that the, um, the system of cancer, the system of the medical system itself is trained up on, you know, the um, being compassionate along the way and, and at every touch point that, um, that the camp, that the the patient feels supported and loved and um, hopeful. In your opinion, do you feel like um, a, like a cancer patient's outlook can affect their prognosis? I do. I mean, I, I you know I'm not a scientist. I'm not I'm not a doctor, but I know for myself that you know having a sense of, of hope made a huge difference. And being um, you know they say that you know the feeling isolated and feeling depressed can absolutely you know. Um, puts you off track in terms of your medical adherence and taking, yeah. you know, taking care of yourself. So, um, having a strong social support is really critical um, in that journey. In fact, um, there's a stat that says we're 66 percent more likely to actually survive breast cancer with strong social support. Really, so that whole sense 66%. of 66 yeah, percent. So that's, that's a big number. It's a big number, right? So tell me um, a little bit about some of the technologies that you've been hearing about here at this conference. I, yeah. I believe this is your first time at x Yeah, right. right. So, I mean, and you're coming at it yeah. from a very different perspective. We don't have a lot of patients here no, in the audience. No. There's a lot of researchers and right. scientists and innovators. Right. So from a patient perspective, you know, I mean, we're all patients, but really, you know, yeah. if, if, especially from a cancer patient's perspective, what, what has really been um, mind-blowing for you in terms of some Gosh. of the technologies and, and topics that have been coming up here? Yeah, it's all mind-blowing blowing. Um, one of the things that I've been really inspired by was um, Dr. Mark Hyman's talk yes. on um, functional, functional medicine, medicine. Mm -hmm. and the idea of not treating diseases but really treating people and, and getting to the root of these causes um, through understanding diet and, and the social, in, social influences that are really behind the disease. And so that's not so much mind-blowing but inspiring to me to hear, um, to hear the uh, medical landscape um, shifting in that direction. Sure. And then from a technology perspective, gosh, it's just, I mean, right? It's, it's mind-blowing. <laughs> All of it is so mind-blowing. It really is. Yeah, it is. But I, 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 I'm intrigued by um, the technology about trying to, um, you know, inspire different behaviors. And there's been so much talk about how changing behavior is hard, right? And how do we use technology to do that? And so I've been really trying to uh, follow that on this conference and, and take some of that back to what we do at Rallyhood. Good, so tell me a little bit about Rallyhood really yeah. quickly. I yeah. wanna know, how, what do you guys do? Yeah, so, well, we're a social platform for healthcare communities and we exist to, you know, help people go through um, and stay connected to their caregivers and their extended network mm -hmm. um, for the purpose of having a better outcome. You know, there are actually 90, over 90 million caregivers in the United States that are unpaid and untrained. And so 
um, whether we're a patient or a caregiver going through a journey, we need people around us sure. and we need the tools and content to to make that easy. And so that's what RallyHit is is built to do. Excellent. Yeah. So last question for you, Patty. Yeah. Um, you're an optimist. I know yes. you are. So <laughs> tell me, what has you most optimistic about the future of healthcare? Hmm. I think you know this idea of exponential uh, progress is it's. It's crazy. What, 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 where will we be, you know, in five years from now? Right, right. And so I think the speed at which people are iterating on technology, um, the passion behind that. Sure. And um, you know, I am an optimist. I mean, it's exciting to see what will happen next. Patty, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. It's always a pleasure to speak to you. I'm Jessica Damasa here at Singularity University's Exponential Medicine in the Guidewell Insights Lounge. Thank you so much, Patty. Thank you. Have a great day.